Hi, Russell Sharp. Well, thanks for joining us here at AHIC, Russell. You're, you're one of the regulars here. Yeah, I've been here uh, since it began, I mean, seven years ago. So it's been quite a, a different AHIC this time. Uh, as you know, 2009 was a difficult year for everybody. So we're happy to be here in 2010, so to speak. And you say it's been a difficult year. How, how would you describe, say, the past 12 months here in Dubai? Well, you, you see, I think um, uh, when they said that the balloon would not burst and would probably deflate, I think that uh, it has burst, or it did burst. And it burst very late and very quickly when it comes to uh, actually gauging it against the world economy. And like most things, uh, it's all in Dubai, uh, it's, it's um, really demand and supply that has changed. And we saw a diminishing demand and an increasing supply. And uh, people, some of the hotels reacted really quickly to this, and the hospitality uh, trade especially managed to adapt to it. But um, a lot of people got really stuck. I mean, there's a number of projects that has been postponed or even cancelled. Uh, and I would say in the hospitality trade, but maybe 56% of the projects was postponed or cancelled. And what we saw today in 2009, AHIC, we, we didn't really have a gauge or a grip on that. But now we're getting a handle on it. We're, we're suddenly realizing that it's only the strong that would survive. The beach properties are doing really well, but if you're not on the beach, then you're, you're struggling in some of the areas. So I think it'll sort the boys up from the men for sure. But uh, we, what we'll see is probably a much stronger and, and stringent Dubai. And we will be able to then uh, attract the right people at the right prices. At the moment, it's still bouncing along the bottom, so to speak. Well, you've been here as well for 30 years. That's right. Yeah. How, uh, what are the key changes you've seen over, over that period? It's, uh, 30 years is a long time, but in Dubai, yeah. it's, it's, it's I mean, a du lifetime and a half. Dubai has really changed a lot. Uh, but it's been for the better. What has happened is that some of the changes came very quickly. And uh, again, change, though it's good in many aspects, it all has it also has the flip side, the negative side. So what we had to do was really start adapting to that, that negative side. We saw like Rev Pass, for example, going through the roof. We found occupancies becoming 100%, you know, hotels were running at 100%. Things were becoming very ex expensive. It really overheated. And now the slowdown is, is actually good for us because now we can take a, a stand and as a team where we are and be able to come back stronger and a lot more value for money than what we were doing previously. I think uh, a lot of people who came here uh, came with the idea of the pavement paved with gold and you know, easy money and you can get a job and make a quick buck. And now they're realizing it's, it's not like that. that uh, you have to work just as hard as every, anybody else. And, anywhere else in the world. So it's, there's, a, there's a balance coming back. And how would you describe, like now you, you come there and there's sky skyscrapers everywhere, it's, you know, it's incredible, but what was it like in the late 70s, early 80s? Oh yeah, I mean, during the 70s, uh, it was um, a, a little town. It was a town, and now it's a city. And normally what would have taken 100 years to build, they built in 10 years. So it really has uh, progressed on a fast track. What you, have, what you see here now today is something that um, you don't see anywhere else in the Middle East. I don't think any other city has grown as quickly. And infrastructure as superior as this has been able to be done in such a short space of time. I mean, never mind the biggest malls and the highest buildings, but the road systems, the water systems, the electricity, the telephone, you know, your infrastructure is here. It's the best in the Middle East. So 
I think they have to be very proud of that because they've, they've done that in a very short space of time. And what do you think the rest of the Middle East can learn from Dubai, both, both good and bad, the crisis as well as the boom times? Yeah, I think if there was one thing I would say the Middle East, they always looked at Dubai as being uh, a make or break sort of city. You know, they say, well, they're expanding, but wait and see what happens. Well, I think they've taken the risk, and I think in the long term the risk will, be, will pay off. It's better to take a step forward than stand still, even if you have to fall down. At least you move forward. So I think that um, good times will come. It'll take time. It won't be in 2010. I think it'll take longer, maybe 13 or 14, before we start seeing you know, prices moving up and a rationalization on rents and house prices in reality. Uh, but it'll, it'll come back. Sure. And how about yourself, your, your company? Can you tell us about ah, yes. uh, well, what you do? You know, we're, we're into the hospitality market. What we actually do is we look at uh, potential owners or investors. We have a group of investors. We look at pieces of land which we can buy. Uh, we, we design the hotels or um, multi-use complexes and we build them and then lease them out or find operators. So we do the A to Z on, uh, on development as such, but really in the hospitality, more in the hospitality. So something like this is a good platform for us to work for. Do you have any plans at the moment? Yeah, we, we, uh, we're doing a few projects. Unfortunately, a lot of the projects is outside Dubai because um, uh, things have come to a slowdown here. Uh, we have projects in, in Saudi Arabia. We have a very big project in Oman. We're doing one in uh, Doha, in Qatar. Too. And uh, these, these areas are still, still progressing with their projects. So it's, it's kept us alive. Okay, Russell, thanks very much for sharing your thoughts no, here. Thanks. Thank you.